Okay, let's get started on the final game that was included with Rockton Infinity, Tracker. And you can see we're pushing road signs into eyes. The eyes are actually called ogles. And as you can see, they just move backwards and forwards. We're driving around in a little bulldozer without its shovel at the front, it seems. And the actual bulldozer sprite is showing a new feature of Repton Infinity, because normally Repton would be walking and he'd be, uh, his animation would be bouncing backwards and forwards. And this sprite actually cycles. You know, see, watch the tracks, you can see they spin around and they don't bounce backwards and forwards. Anyway, this little guy you've pushed down here is called Kevin, and these weird, you know, zippy looking things are uh, called Jaggers. Uh, we've got other fruits around here, and you know, a bed we're pushing around. They're actually called oofs, O-O-F. They stand for something I can't quite remember what, but uh, it's a little joke. And so anyway, we get rid of the road signs, and if the ogles actually come up to the road signs, they uh, get rid of them. So we need to do them quickly. Anyway, this is our dynamite, and as I said, this is our little bloke Kevin, and he's our explosives expert. When we're standing next to some dynamite and push our use key, then he will blow up the dynamite like that, killing off the jaggers. Now the jaggers behave like um, spirits and monsters, and they turn take turns of what they want to do. And so we see up here also a spider. And what we've got to do to kill Spider, we've got to throw the banana at it, but we can't throw the banana straight at it. We've got to make it hit the wall and bend off, because otherwise it'll just run up to it and stop dead in front of it. And scrolling the screen does come very, very handy on these levels. We can uh, move down and see what we're throwing our road signs into. And uh, those phone boxes up there, those are the transporters, and here's Repton, and he's angry, because this isn't his game anymore. He was the star of the show, he was in that middle square there, but now there's something else. There was a, a robot, and now there's a, there's a bulldozer. I mean, what's going on here? Repton's very angry. Anyway, what, uh... Oh, yes, yeah, so the collision detection's a bit, uh, dodgy on here. So, uh... We have to beware when we're throwing things around. Anyway, the transporters, we can't go through them. The only things I've noticed that can go through them are the tomatoes or Repton himself. So starting on level two, we have to uh, clear out a little area here. Then we push this dynamite in towards to blow up all these jaggers and move Kevin over and say, we need your experience over here, Kevin. Go stand next to that dynamite. I mean, he's a pretty uh, resilient fellow. He doesn't uh, seem to blow up along with the rest of the dynamite. And a good way to kill off the jaggers is waiting till they go away from you and they're splatting them that way because of the collision detection that I've mentioned is a bit uh, dodgy. I mean, I know why it's happened. I've uh, been trying to program a little thing like Repton myself, well, Repton Infinity myself, and I realise why that happened. Anyway, I may not have mentioned it. The way we kill off Repton is um, we confine him to a one by one square, and that kind of satiates him, that kind of uh, calms him down, and so then he uh, goes splat along with the rest of the things. And you notice all these things, they aren't falling down, they're just kind of being pushed along and they're flying away from us. And, uh... It's uh, quite handy, obviously, because you need that kind of thing to kill off the enemies around here. Anyway, we need Kevin's expertise over here again. I'm sure we just saw Kevin up there. He seems to be able to be in more than one place at a time. Never mind, really. Uh, anyway, we've sat Kevin next to some explosives. And the explosives were next to some spiders, so fortunately we don't have to deal with those spiders. We can blow them up to kill them.
one thing we want to be aware of, if we throw a banana at a jagger, then that's going to turn him into a spider. Which is obviously something we don't want happening. So I'm setting a few things up here so we can get the road signs up to hit those eyes. The ogles, I should say, really. And it's a pretty simple matter now of just uh, pushing them through this gap and up and hitting the eyes with them. As long as we can see them, of course. Yeah, the collision detection showing us that it's not playing along with us at times here. And we make our way up to this area with lots and lots of road signs. And, uh, well, yes, the road signs don't go through the transporters, so they just squash it like that. Which is quite handy, because we want Kevin to be sat here. And when we do that, well, we see Repton's confined. We're also looking at the map, because there's a Jagger up the top. And you can see him coming round, and so we just throw the tomato blindly, hoping that it hits the jagger, and, well, what do you know, it did. That's a good thing. Now we've got to deal with this repton. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, the way the repton moves is he goes, you know, up and down, or left and right, until he hits a wall, and then, if he can, he'll turn um, off clockwise. So, we're kind of waiting for him to come back here. Yeah, if he can't turn clockwise, I'll turn anti-clockwise, and... He eats road signs, so that's another thing you've got to be aware of. Because that you might uh, need some of those road signs. Anyway, we push this tomato out of the way, and then... Uh, oh, Repton takes the transporter. Well, I suppose it's really uh, his uh, thing to do. I mean, he likes taking transporters. He is Repton, after all. And I kind of bodged up getting the Repton into there, so now I've got to find a different way to kill him off. Unfortunately, he's going backwards and forwards up in that little area up there, so it'd be fairly simple to do so. But we've got to watch out when he pushes his bed up so he doesn't come around it. But uh, being quick enough, we can uh, sort him out there. We wander our way up. We see, oh no, not another spider. Uh, apparently, they're proper names according to uh, the uh, hint sheet thing. I don't know if it came along with the game or not. But it says. Their names on there are um, tubular spiders. Whether that's part of the surface slang, I uh, don't know. But uh, anyway, they're they're totally tubular or something like that. Anyhow, yes, we're starting off with a lot of jaggers freeze, so we've got to uh, be very very wary about where we go to and wait in ambush like that to uh, kill them off. Now, spiders, the spiders move in a very, very complicated way. I mean, it's very simple if you look at the uh, programming in the, the reptile language that's uh, included with the, the game. But uh, the thing about the spiders is that uh, simple way to do it is translates very complicatedly on screen. And, uh, oh yes, a try a bit of long, si long uh, distance road sign throwing off the screen, and uh, wow, it worked, surprisingly. Anyway, so it's about the spiders. Well, if you're below them, they'll try to move down towards your position. No, never mind where you are below them, they'll always try to move downwards. If they can't move downwards, they won't move at all. Uh, same as, uh, well, it's kind of same if they're above you, if you're above them. They try to move upwards, and they won't do anything unless they're moving upwards, unless you're above and to the left of them, which they'll try to move uh, westwards towards you. It's kind of a weird movement. And um, if uh, you're anywhere in line with them, they'll come directly at you. But they won't do it all the time. They'll decide when they want to do it. And uh, it's not quite random, it's not a timer, but uh, it's uh, just kind of complicated. Anyway, what we've done is arrange these dynamite sticks in a way so that uh, the reptons will just bounce up and down and then the, the sticks are in a nice place just to push them down and to squish the reptons. It sounds weird, it's pluralizing repton. 
multiple reptons. Yes, uh, anyhow. So we see a detonator stuck there in the middle of nowhere, which we can't do anything about. Never mind, we don't really want to do anything with it. And then you've got the jaggers nicely arranged in such a way that we can throw the tomato straight at them. But uh, they don't stay like that for the rest of the game, really. Anyway, that's it for now. See you in the next episode.